Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desrin. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing some barrel twists on my three month old starter locks or I guess I can call them baby locks now because they're definitely not starter locks anymore. But I'm so excited because this is going to be my first time doing like a style style and leaving it in for probably about a week and a half two weeks i'm hoping to push it to two weeks but knowing me and how i am i'm gonna want to play with my hair i'm gonna want to see my hair see if it's doing anything different so hopefully i keep it in for the two weeks but in my next lock update you guys will know so i'm gonna be doing four barrel twists i do have my phone set up screen mirror to my tv so i can see the back of my head i can see what i'm doing and to hopefully make this go by pretty quick barrel twists aren't hard to do but if you don't know how to do them or if you want to try them on yourself try them on someone else this is the video for you depending on the length of the starter locks or the locks that you are working on or have you may not even have to use elastics to tie them off at the end a lot of times people just use the locks themselves to create a small knot or not anything that's gonna be like super hard to take out but they create a knot with the locks to make sure that the hair stays intact but i'm not doing that i'm using these really nice big stretchy elastics what i like about these is that they hold the hair but they don't give it that super tight tension and y'all know i'm tender headed so i don't need none of that tight stuff at all really quick i'm just gonna turn around and section off my hair to make sure that the sections are even and they're gonna look exactly how I want them to. All right, y'all, hopefully you guys will be able to see exactly what I'm going to be doing. If not, I'm so sorry. Oh, if not, then you won't even see this video, but um, let's get into it. So you wanna start your barrel twist with two of your locks and you wanna twist them the opposite direction of your retwist, just like you would a regular two strand twist. And then you're gonna take from the left side and bring that over to the right side and under over and under is going to be your friend you want to repeat that to yourself this entire time so you're going to take a lock from the right side over and under to secure it and to make sure that it doesn't unravel take another one from the left side over and under you want to make sure your retwist still stays intact so you want to twirl it in a clockwise direction or counterclockwise, whatever way your own hair is retwisted, and then go from there. So you're gonna retwist, and then you're gonna go over and under. All fingers need to be on deck, okay? Like all of them need to clock in because when I tell you all of your fingers are gonna be put to work, all of them are gonna be put to work. There's no half-assing this. You gotta have some kind of coordination or at least just keep practicing until you get that coordination down. When I was first doing barrel twists, y'all, like they were butt ugly. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like they were horrendous, hideous, any bad word that you could think of. That's what my barrel twist was looking like. So for them to look how they do now, it's like, you know, I'm proud of myself. You know, it, it really does take practice, not only on yourself, but if you can, other people as well. So continuing, we're just going over and under. It's really simple once you get the hang of it. It can be kind of intimidating, especially if you have a lot of locks to deal with or your hair is on the thicker side. Don't mind me. Like, I keep looking back to make sure y'all can actually see what I'm doing. Um, it was kind of hard to get, like, a really good angle. But this is a really simple style to do. Just keep telling yourself 
over and under. If you're bringing one from the right over, you should not be grabbing another one from the right side. It should be right to left, right to left, or left to right. Not two from the right and then two from the left. I mean, if you want to do it specifically like that, like that kind of pattern, you know, that's on you. But however many locks you bring over, you want to keep that consistent with each side. So if you have a shit ton of locks and it's going to be nearly impossible, not impossible, but take a really long time to do barrel twists and you want to do a few at a time on each side, do that, but just make sure you're consistent throughout the entire barrel twist. So because I'm only taking one from each side, I'm doing that the entire way down. I'm not taking two or three. Yes, I can do that, but that's not what I'm doing right now. So once I get to the end, I just take my elastic and tie it off. If you are truly a beginner beginner, like this is like your first time doing it, or like first few times doing it, just use an elastic to tie the twist off. Don't make it harder on yourself and cause the whole thing to unravel because you try to tie the locks together on themselves. Like don't stress yourself out, just use an elastic. It's okay, you'll get there. Okay, now let's walk through it again because why not? This is a tutorial, right? Okay, so as you can see, I took my first two locks, twisted them the opposite direction of my retwist. This helps it stay tighter. It gives it that resistance. And I'm taking my lock from the left, bringing it over and under, taking a lock from the right over and underneath. This helps secure it, make sure that it's not going to unravel on you. It makes it tighter. And then you're gonna take your other lock. I messed up, I took it from the same side, but it's okay, I'm not perfect. No one is over and under. And then sometimes you might have to take a lock from the opposite side and bring it underneath to go over, if that makes sense. Sometimes if you don't have like an even amount on each side to wrap around, you'll have to do that. But you'll know, like once you get the hang of doing this, you'll know exactly what you need to do. It will be like the back of your hand, like it will be like second nature to you. So if you have a section like mine where you don't have like just two to choose from, from each side, you might have one on the left side, one on the right side, and one in the middle. Start with the middle, go with the middle one first. And whichever direction you wrap that one in, you want to use the opposite side to do the next one. So if you're bringing the middle one over, coming from the right side, you want to take a lock from the left side the next time when you're doing your over and under. We are done with one half. I'm loving it so far. It's looking exactly how I wanted it to. So this one definitely is not completely symmetrical, but I already knew like my locks weren't symmetrical because one, they're triangle parts, so it's not going to be symmetrical, but it's like, damn, like, I don't know, but this is like bomb though, you know, like I'm happy with this. I'm not mad at this at all. I just like look like a little dinosaur from this side. 
compared to this side. Or maybe I'm tripping. I'm probably just tripping. I don't know. But I fuck with it, y'all. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put it in a bun. Or just do two of them like that. I'm just going to combine these. I would like to make it known that I most definitely pinned down that pointy part on that right side of the middle barrel twist because baby, I was not about to be out here looking like a dinosaur. Hell no. Oh yeah. This is so cute. Now let me go do my edges, y'all. I'm done. I love it. I think it's super cute. I don't gotta do nothing with my hair. I can still oil my scalp if needed. And it's gonna be super easy to just wrap it up, wake up in the morning, take my scarf off and go. Like I am so excited. And this didn't take long at all. Maybe about, because I'm recording, maybe about 20, 25 minutes. You know, I had to stop a couple times, make sure that my angle was good and everything. But overall, it's a pretty quick and easy style. Hopefully you guys are able to understand better how to do barrel twists either on yourself or someone else. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you wanna see me try any other styles, please just let me know down below and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.